Mechanical television, like the second worst way to watch TV next to HBO Max. Now look, I know this isn't an engine related video and air is pretty cool and all, but I wanted to try something new and convince you viewers that 3D printing can accomplish many cool things. Mechanical television works because of these two discs called Nipcow discs. In these discs are holes strategically placed across the surface of the disc so that when it spins by a frame window it creates what looks like a solid image. The camera works by focusing an image onto one of these discs using a lens and allows light to pass through the holes into a photoresistor. The TV disc works the opposite way, where a light blinks when the photoresistor detects light. Because of this, they must spin at the same speed. There's not much to say about this one, it doesn't work at all. The discs bind with the walls and the gears don't even mesh correctly. This design kind of works as you can see. I think what is happening is the light is missing the sensor, which is why when I shine a light onto the camera, it will only show a dot on the screen, instead of the entirety of it. Also, the gears are very noisy, and they don't spin correctly. I replaced the cavities with these cones, and by lining the inside of the cones with tin foil and using papers with a fuser, it should create a bigger area to the sensor to see the light, which it does. It still doesn't work right though. When I shine a dot onto the camera sensor, it represents it as a line and will only see very bright light. Nothing in front of the lens, that is simply just a light source. Okay, so basically I've been doing some uh, research and development of this, uh, this monstrosity. So I have this here, which basically what this does is it takes it so once there's a certain level of resistance, what it'll do is it'll blink the light on full, so instead of having like, instead of having it dri driven directly from the photoresistor, what it'll do is it'll go through this, and then go to there, and then we should get a much more solid image, so. As you can see. When I put my light, real when I, uh, when I put my phone light really close to it, as you can see, it kind of sees it when I move it around. Not very well, but it's, um, it's certainly doing something. It wasn't really doing much a whole lot before, but it's doing a better job at scanning and kind of tracking where my phone is. Alright, so the final stage of development, I think I've reached the uh, final stage of development with this, the I don't care stage, where I'm kind of just realizing that this might not work as well as I thought it was, but I'm just happy to see any kind of result. I like that I can actually get it to display anything at all, when before I, I had no idea how this would work. I noticed another thing is that the focal point of this lens is very short, so anything about closer than maybe an inch it doesn't seem to actually recognize any other than just like light pretty much so i think the actual tv itself works fine but the camera not so much i think i will just focus on the tv part in the next video and try something kind of like what this guy's done anyways if you like this consider subscribing because uh ugh.